Hi guys, it's Medically Amber and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name's Amber and I'm an undergraduate University of Nottingham student studying medicine with a foundation year. As you may see, we're not in the usual setup. I have gone home for the Christmas holidays and this is my Christmas tree. It is the only place in the house which has good lighting, so here we are. But in today's video, I'm going to be giving you different study tips that will allow you to pass medicine with a foundation year with ease. So, let's get right into it. First of all, I do want to say that different medical schools do have different ways of teaching, so if you're not going to the University of Nottingham, then I may not be able to give you specific advice for, say, um, Leicester University for Medicine with a Foundation Year, because everyone has a different way of teaching, supporting, and everything in general. But my video here today is just going to give you an overall idea of how to study for Medicine with a Foundation Year. Tip number one, use your seniors. Medical school can sometimes be very confusing because you're learning a much greater detail compared to A-levels and GCSE and there isn't really like a CGP revision guide available to you that can help you throughout your studies. So the next best thing is your seniors. Your lectures are being paid to teach you so make sure you get your money's worth out of university and utilise them well. It can seem quite scary at first to just email your lecturer out the blue with like help me out I don't know what the 20 different amino acids are but it would be better suited if you were to ask them and actually understand what you're learning rather than writing notes on something you actually don't understand at all so that when it comes to exam you have no clue what you've wrote down and you don't even understand that slight ounce of it. The lecturers would much prefer if you engage with them, let them know any of your concerns or worries, at least then you're making sure that you're sorting out any problems that you have. Tip number two is use active recall and spaced repetition. When I started medicine with a foundation year I used an app called GoodNote which is where I would write down my notes on like a black A4 piece of paper and it would just be loads of pages of notes. I can pop a picture up here of what they used to look like. Now the problem with this studying method is that it took a very long time for me to do because I'm kind of like a perfectionist so I like to get the cool colours in there make sure the font's really nice and it took such a long time to do them but also I wasn't really absorbing the information that I was putting down because I was not testing myself I wasn't forcing my brain to work the information that I'm processing this is where active recall and spaced repetition came in and absolutely saved my life active recall involves retrieving information from memory by testing yourself at every stage of the revision process spaced repetition involves reviewing information at gradually increasing intervals. The reason why active recall and space repetition works is because the very act of like forking out information from our brain strengthens our ability to retain information in there and also it improves our connection between different concepts within our brain. This combined with you interrupting the memory curve by implementing space repetition into your studies proves to be the most powerful study method that you can actually utilize to study medicine. So to implement active recall and space repetition into my study routine I use the app called Anki. Now I'm not sponsored by Anki, this is a free shout out to them because I'm armed, but Anki is a flashcard app that allows you to make online flashcards that you can use to test yourself in particular sessions of studying. It uses an algorithm based around active recall and space repetition and so it learns about you and your progress as you go through each flashcard depending on what you rate it, whether it be I don't feel confident in that flashcard or I know this flashcard, it's a DOS. In the description box below I'll put down any YouTube links that I found useful when I was trying to understand what active recall was in space repetition. Have a look at those and then you can get a better understanding of how to use Anki itself and also the concept of active recall in space repetition. Tip number three, be precise with your notes. Whether you use Anki, flashcards or handwrite your notes on A4 pieces of paper, medicine requires preciseness. You cannot waffle with your notes and you must use specific terminology. This is because in your exams even the slightest misspelling of a word or maybe you just use a completely different version of the word in general can lead to you missing out on marks during the real exam. So when you're writing your notes make sure to keep concise, use bullet points and just go straight to the point and this ensures that you're only retaining the core information that you need and you're not wasting any memory space. Tip number four, do a bit of work every day. With medical school there is such a large volume of information that you have to cover and unlike GCCs in A-level you cannot 
cram revise the night before your exam because if you did you're basically asking for a death sentence it's not going to happen so to avoid this do a little bit of work every day but keep in mind we're excluding relaxation days because honey you need rest please okay Period. But even doing 20 minutes a day is better than doing nothing because you're working your brain and you're keeping on top of your workload. And so at least then when it comes to exam time, you have nothing to worry about. You don't have to cram because you've progressively been doing work as the year goes by. And by doing this, you're also making space for relaxation and doing extracurricular activities such as sport, playing video games, whatever you like. Tip number five, listen to your lecturers. If there's one thing I've learned whilst doing my course is that if you miss out on a lecture, or if you're just not listening to a lecturer when they're teaching you, you will miss out on tons of information. And this can lead to you being behind in your work because you didn't listen in the first place. You can't really speak to your lecturers because it's a bit rude that you weren't listening in the first place. Then you also can't speak to your friends because they're probably busy catching up on their notes. And then Google is really terrible at explaining certain things for medicine. So you go in a little spiral of depression and then you just reach a rock bottom. Yeah, I know from experience. So rather than facing all of that chaos, just listen to your lecturer in the first place. We're all human, I get it. There are some days where we don't want to listen to our lecturer talking about the 20 different amino acids in the body. I can get it, it's tedious. But the majority of your course, do listen to what the lecturer is saying and make sure to keep up with your attendance because by missing out on just a single thing, it can be such a vital thing. And so by missing out on that, you're missing out on a lot of information that you'll have to find out for yourself, which can be quite stressful if Google or your lecturer or all your friends are unable to provide you with that information. Tip number six, work together. Medicine is not a competition. And the beautiful thing about medicine with the foundation year is that the classes are quite small. And so this means that you can form closer relationships with your peers and also with your lecturer. So I feel like the very much a pro with my course is that it's so much more easier to work with your friends. And this means you can share your stresses with each other. You can help each other out with any topics that you don't understand. And they can just be your support with as well as you being a support buddy for them. So if there's one thing I would highly advise during medicine with the foundation year is just work together with everyone. You're in a small group, utilize that small working space and just make sure that you help each other out because medicine at any cost is not a competition. You're all in it together, guys. Tip number seven, make space for relaxation. In a small amount of time of me officially being a medicine with a foundation student, I have covered topics all the way from epithelium to amino acids, to muscle tissue, to nerve tissue, all the way down to mitosis and meiosis. I've covered a large volume of information. And speaking from experience, I know how easy it is to be consumed by work and not really realizing in the process that you're completely neglecting your mental well-being in the process. To avoid this happening to you, make sure that when you're making your revision schedule, allocate days to just relax. These are so important for you because it allows you to take your mind off your studies. Really just get some time to just let your brain rest because there's only so much information your brain can retain and it just needs some time to really process it and the only time you can do that is when you're not doing any work. So during these days, just make sure to, I don't know, read a book, socialise with friends and family, play a video, game play a sport something that you enjoy that just takes your minds off of things so that when you do resume back to your studies you're prepared and you're ready to go again and that is all for this video i hope this video proved to be useful for any prospective medical students or for anyone doing my course right now that is kind of struggling with their studying i completely understand we're only new to it we're only done one semester but these are the tips that i utilized and they've proved to be quite useful for me so far as always please like subscribe and comment any of the video suggestions that you have below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!